Okay, hello. So this will be the final video. Okay. So this is the combination. Okay, which we will talk about the SOP. Okay, the the proper way for us to analyze this. Okay. So the SOP is choose one. We look for the direction. Okay. Direction. Choose from monthly, weekly. Or daily, okay. So it's depend on you whether you are a swinger or scalper or intraday, okay. So you need to analyze the direction first, okay. So the direction taken like for nearest SNR, okay. Nearest SNR, okay. Then, for example, the level is on daily, right? Daily or weekly, okay. You may filter it, okay. Filter or precise, okay. Or precise to H1, okay. For, for me personally, the maximum is H1 if you want to precise it, okay. So, how to precise, okay. We look for first level, first level, okay. Look for Wait for the hint, okay. Wait for the hint, which is which for H1, okay. Not five hint, the hint is reversal, okay. Reversal. So after reversal, there will be continuation, okay. Continuation. So the same thing repeating, okay. So number six, back to here, okay. Because we from level to level, okay. For example, resistance support, okay. When the price approach this resistance, it needs to go to support, okay. And same thing repeating, okay. Okay, so let's go to the chart, okay. So I will open weekly as an as an example. Okay. Okay. So here we have. Uh. The weekly level. Okay. For example, here. We have weekly level here. Okay. Here weekly. So this is weekly. Okay. You may precise it to other time frame. Okay to lower our risk okay so on daily the same level okay so we use horizontal line okay same level okay. precisely h4 okay you may remove the line or just add another one okay okay so for here i use other color i will use turquoise color so here is the first zone, okay. On H4, then we also have the H and S, okay. Here, so but you see the H and S is not that fresh, so we will mark this open close level, okay. So on H1, let's see, H1, okay. So here we see the highest resistance here is not fresh. Okay. So we remove this, okay. we take this to line, okay, which is the breakout and the resistance. Okay. So let's see whether the price approach the first level or not. Okay. So for example I might okay. This is not the first zone, so I might put this orange, okay for us to see, okay? see? the price come back to the fresh level, the fresh zone okay? okay? and this yellow line this orange one it's not been touched, okay? the price didn't touch that because it's already been touched previously so 
the same thing after we filter okay or precise it if you want okay we wait for the hint okay so here we have the hint okay we have the oscillation arm okay so that will be our first entry okay then build out okay we have support build out okay pull back drop okay Also have turn on okay, here. So weekly storyline is weekly, okay? Weekly to weekly. So we have first zone here, okay? For us to see here, then the one is here. You see the first break, okay? Break goes up for this pull back around here, okay? Break out, pull back around here, drop, okay? When you press drop, it reach to weekly level, okay? And then weekly to weekly, you see? We have weekly level also here, okay? So by the press break pull back here drop okay so let's see what is the price action there okay so you see now the price come to the first zone okay see it break but then we have new support okay so that's why the price goes up, okay? Goes up, but within this small range only, okay? So why? Because on daily, okay? See? The price goes deep because daily level, okay? Then daily to daily, see? We have here the price first respect, then we also have another one here, okay? Daily also can see the original one is weekly to weekly right okay weekly to weekly but then the price stop at certain level because of the roadblock which is the previous time frame in this case daily okay so you have here daily daily also daily okay this is weekly so we look for the price action okay for or the hint okay so look for the hint on h4 or h1 okay see here we have the new support form. Okay, new support form. Then touch this daily zone also. New origin form. Okay, double top, press drop. Maybe on H1 there will be more information, okay, more detail. Okay, as you can see, we have trend line, okay. Okay, the price didn't touch, okay, because it take the support level, okay, here. Then when the price came to the daily resistance, there is also auto trend line. See? And we also have the cash and S formation, okay? As you can see here. Here, okay? See? First point, second point, third point. Then we have the is drop okay then when the price once again come back to the support okay we have trend line okay auto trend line okay 
this point, one point, that point, that's it. Okay. So the same thing with the thing, okay? Here, okay? The price once again come back to the resistance and we have the trend line. Okay? You may check from the previous, okay? can see okay the price goes up because it take the daily uh, daily resistance level okay so even though it goes a bit uh the closing is above okay but it's still respect because it respect the resistance level okay so the price comes back to the zone pull back you see still respect the trend line drop So basically the same thing with thing. Yeah? You just need to identify the old block. Okay. Uh, here we can see more detail, okay? See first point here, first point, second point. See? On H14 frame. That's why we need to watch the time frame, okay? We want the understanding, okay? We want the we want to understand it. We not we didn't want to memorize it, okay? So that's why it is important for us to understand, not memorize the storyline, the SNR trend line. We just want to understand how and why, okay? See? First point, second point, third point. Drop. Okay. Okay, so basically the SOP is repeating, okay? Repeating. So here is another example, okay? For example here we have see on daily uh, on weekly okay? we see the price has broke this support level, okay? But then we can precise this zone, okay? Precise it to daily, okay? On daily we have uh, we see the open close level here, okay? Open close. Maybe we can change to H4. Okay, to filter it more. Okay, see? Okay, resistance. Okay. And the price didn't touch, okay? The price didn't touch the resistance level. Okay. So I you can filter to H1. Okay. To have more detail. Okay. So here we have resistance okay so i change this one to turquoise okay so this one is a breakout okay on h4 the resistance level okay so that's all this is the zone okay so let's see see the price come back to the blue line both okay but the precisely the blue line okay the turquoise one okay because it is the fresh zone okay both is fresh but we have see two zone okay so same thing we look for the hint okay on h4 or h1 okay h4 see we have auto trend line okay first point second point okay first point second point third point drop okay then the price come back this one okay which one we have here h and s okay h and s okay see h and s then price drop okay so this trend line okay and then the hint on this one drop okay so pull pull back okay why why there because 
and plus okay and plus everybody so maybe we can go to entity okay to find the reason okay entity okay, as you can see okay open close 15 okay on, on entity the same thing open close candle okay close so it look like uh, we cannot go to the price okay there's some question so basically the same thing everything okay For example, here, see, change to line chart. You see, when the price come to this zone, okay, you see the small curve here. So that's why we take that zone, okay, small curve, okay, chain S, okay, chain S with the open close, okay. You see, when the price approach this level, you can see the double top formation, okay, the same thing repeating. Okay, but maybe you want to use trend line. Okay, please. Okay, you may use. Okay, see, it's point you can point. Okay, oh, we cannot use an 15. I forget. Okay, see, we have the first point, second point, third point. See, first job. So that's why uh, the price drop. Okay, same thing, same thing, everything. Okay. So there is the final. Okay, you can see the exchange first. News as in R. Then we s we look for the roadblock. Okay, roadblock. Okay, for us to alert. Okay, roadblock. Okay. Or to find the entry, okay. The entry, okay. So we filter as you can see. I have, I have shown that we filter it, then the press come back to the first zone, okay. So wait for the hit on H4, H1, and after hit or the reversal, there will be a continuation, okay. So the same thing repeating, so from support to resistance, from resistance to support, okay. So there is the f this is the final video, okay? So thank you. Okay. You may ask me directly or in the group if you have any question, okay? So hopefully this will help you in trading, okay? Uh, I I hope you will be more profitable after this, okay? So that's all for me. Thank you.